Hi you guys, welcome back to the desk corner and welcome to another video. In today's video I do have something exciting to share with you guys. These are the brand new um, Pitt Graphite Matte Pencils by Faber-Castell. And some of you might have heard of these and they're getting a little bit of hype recently. Thank you to all of you who recommended these to me. I got a couple of recommendations actually and I am just really excited to try them out. I just had to pick them up right away. I got a six set and I believe these go up to 12B, but when we open them, we will talk about that. Now, a new Faber-Castell product is always very, very exciting because this is one of my favorite brands ever. And the fact that we're getting something totally new and different from them as far as graphite pencils go, that is just super, super exciting, you guys. Now, before we get started with this, I just wanted to pop in here and remind you guys that I am on Patreon. I'll link that down below so you can check it out. I've had it for a few months and I'm kind of, you know, posting real time stuff on there so you guys can see a slower process of what I'm doing. So definitely go and check that out. And I also have a Discord community where we can talk about art-related things together. And I will link that down below. I apologize if the link has been broken. I need to go and fix it. But of course, I'll make sure that the link I post in this video is working. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to be comparing these pencils to the regular Faber-Castell graphite pencils, which are the Faber-Castell 9000. And I have them right here. So we are going to be doing some comparisons between these. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it's possible for these graphite pencils to be matte or what is in them. I thought we could take a look at the box or the tin first. So it just looks like a standard Faber-Castell tin. And on the back it says, Ultra Matte Graphite Laydown for Reduced Reflection on Paper. Highest color density for maximum depth effect smooth graphite application. Let's go ahead and have a look at the pencils themselves. These are black in comparison to the 9000, which are green, as well as the jumbo graphite pencils. So these are the regular 9000 pencils. Let's take one of these out and take a look at it. It's got that same hexagonal shape as Faber-Castell pencils normally do, and it's light just as they normally are. Now when you look closely up here at the tips of these pencils, at the lead, you can see the shiny graphite pencil versus this one which looks darker and more matte so that is quite exciting and I like that they have the distinction of this one being black so that we don't get confused between them oh my gosh you guys I just want to try these out on paper so let me grab some paper so we can get straight to swatching them yes you guys I quite literally have a binder full of random like little cuts of paper just because I hate to waste any and I know that if I save the little scraps I can use them for some purposes eventually um, so we have six pencils here I'm going to go ahead and make space for these on this paper <laughs> You know, the production quality of this video would be better if I just voiceovered the whole thing, but I really want to catch my reaction to how these perform on camera. So I'm going to swatch at least the first one and definitely the 12 be on camera to see, you know, so you guys can see how I react to it. Wow, you guys, that's actually really interesting. They feel smooth, which for some reason I wasn't expecting them to feel smooth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swatch out the rest of them. All I have to say to you guys is what the heck are these made of? Because they are a smooth consistency. They aren't as dark as something like charcoal or carbon, and they're not sticky in the same way that carbon is. Now, I'm not sure if it's just minimal shine, and if I put light, you'll be able to see that there's a little bit of shine, so we're gonna have to test that out at the end. But first, I'm gonna swatch out some of the matching grades of pencil from the 9000 set so we can really compare. All right, here's a comparison. Here's a visual comparison here. So you can see that they pretty much match up the grades. 
So what I'm going to do is grab my phone flashlight, and this is going to look really bad on camera, so I apologize for this, you guys, but I really want to see how reflect it, see, okay, if you look at the Faber-Castell 9000, as I move the light back and forth, you can really see the shine there, see the difference, and I'm actually excited to look at this footage closer up and see um, how they look. So, but even just looking at the viewfinder and looking straight down at the table, I can see that these are not reflective in comparison. Now, I can't tell if there's a little bit of a shine. I'm gonna have to look at that in the editing program. I love how matte these pencils are, and I love how dark that 12B gets. And I also love that there isn't residue or, you know, a strange texture to these pencils like you would expect there to be as if, you know, carbon pencils or something else was mixed in with it. And I think that this range of pencil is enough for me to create a whole artwork with. And I think we're going to do that in today's video so we can really test out how these pencils perform. Now I was originally going to see if I could compare these to the Stadler Mars Lumograph black pencils. I'm just going to show you the swatches of those here. I think that the Pit Graphite Matte feel more like actual graphite and this is just something totally different like the carbon pencils. They feel a lot more like carbon pencils to me and they stick a lot more. They're not quite as smooth when you apply them. I think we've got enough talking into the introduction here and the swatching so let's go ahead and do a real demonstration and see how these pencils perform. I'm so excited to try them. I decided to do an eye demonstration and this is because I like to use graphite to create realistic portraits so I thought it would be appropriate to put them to the test by doing a eye study and I'm going to work on some of the surrounding skin and the eyebrows too so that you guys can see how I create different textures with these pencils. So where should we start? I guess I wanted to talk about a few different things like layers blendability, 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 and erasability as well. And I found that these pencils layer pretty similarly to normal graphite. Although with these pencils, I could add on more layers because with normal graphite, that shine, that sheen that you get on top becomes very apparent after just a few layers. And you do have to be really careful with that. And it becomes really reflective and then you can't really add anything on top at that point. Now with these pencils, you're still going to get a little bit of a shine, but as you can see, as I'm building up one of the irises, and I really used that 12B to create those darkest shadows there, I didn't have as much trouble building up. I still was being cautious because I don't like to go in with a lot of pressure right away with graphite just because I know that you can max out on layers pretty easily compared to something like colored pencil, for example. I was really relieved to find that these actually blend pretty well. Now I mostly used the pencils to blend. I didn't use a tissue or a q-tip or anything like that like I sometimes do because I wanted to leave a bit of skin texture there but I found that I didn't have any issues with blending and the reason I want to bring that up is because I know that when I tried out the Mars Lumograph Black line by Stadler and various other like carbon pencils and things like that, sometimes they can be really hard to blend. They just won't blend and they're just tough. They really stick to the paper and you can't really move them around too much. So I didn't have that issue with these pencils. And as far as erasability goes, I actually did an erasing test and I have a long version of this up in my Patreon where I am just doing like a real-time commentary of half of this drawing and talking about how I felt about the pencils and all of that, but I tried erasing them with my Tombow Mono Zero eraser, all of the different grades, and I found that they erased pretty well too, which is good because graphite tends to erase well, but other things like carbon and charcoal are a little bit tricky to erase. They honestly kind of leave like a permanent mark on the paper. 
Another really cool thing is similarly to the Faber-Castell 9000, these pencils also stay very sharp and they keep their point for a long time. So throughout this drawing, I didn't actually have to sharpen my pencils. I'm trying to remember if I sharpened the 12B like once just a little bit to get that point extra fine. But for the most part, I didn't have to touch my sharpener at all during this process. And that's great because I was putting a lot of pressure. And when you have a higher, a uh, softer grade set that includes like 10B, 12B, you expect that those grades are going to wear down rather quickly and become blunt. You don't expect them necessarily to stay sharp or to be okay for fine details. I didn't have that problem with these pencils. I could use the 12B for fine details and I didn't have to worry about messing it up because that 12B, just like the other grades, really holds up. So I'm happy about that. I mean, I'm not extremely surprised. Faber-Castell is known for having pencils that are rather firm, but I'm just happy that these ones still are like that, even though the grades get pretty soft. And by the way, I did look at the Blick website and I cut this part out of the introduction because the introduction was so long, just me blabbing for like 30 minutes. And I was on the Blick website and you can actually buy a larger set of these that include an HB and a 14B and I think a couple of others. I think 14B is the highest you can go. Now I'm very curious how dark that 14B gets and if it also holds up and if it is still blendable and fits in with the rest of the set because sometimes when you get those higher grade pencils it, they, they become a little bit inconsistent with the rest of them if that makes sense they don't always have the same properties of being able to blend very well or they don't always fit in with the rest of the pencils so I'm curious to try that one out when I maybe expand this set, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the 6 set. I think that the 12B suited my needs and as you guys can see in the drawing, I was able to get a lot of contrast. This is an issue normally with graphite for me. Getting contrast is not easy with graphite pencils. If you're wondering about the shine, I would say that these have quite a reduced amount of shine compared to other graphite pencils or like the Faber-Castell 9000 for example, but they're not going to be 100% matte like a charcoal pencil. That's kind of to be expected, but the element of reduced shine is really helpful and cool and I definitely enjoyed working with these pencils a lot and they're definitely going to be used in the future for me because that 12B gets really, really dark and I like the lay down or the application of these pencils. I think that they are really nice to use. Here's the final piece, you guys. I know it looks funny because it's all tilted, but that's actually how it was in the reference photo. Her head was tilted. I'm actually going to trim this down because I could really use some of these like scraps for future swatching and things like that. Um, but here's my little eye study. I'll zoom in on it so you guys can see how that turned out. And as you can see, it does still look like graphite. So it still looks like normal graphite, but when you tilt it, you know, in different light, it's not quite as reflective as normal graphite. And so even though you're going to get a bit of a shine sometimes, it isn't like an entire sheen over the entire drawing. And I really dislike that about normal graphite pencils. So if you are the same as me, then you might wanna pick these up to try them out. I mentioned before you can get a bigger set than the six set, but I just wanted to try the smaller set to start. Here is one last look at these pencils, and if you've tried them out yet, or if you're planning to, let me know your thoughts. Now that's about all for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful and also fun to watch. As I mentioned before, I'll have a real-time like commentary up on my Patreon very soon, where I talk a little more in-depth about my first thoughts, like my initial thoughts on these pencils. And I hope to try out more products for you guys in the near future. I'm just trying not to buy so much lately, which is why there haven't been as many um, product reviews lately. But I will do my best with that, you guys. And thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.